thank you for tuning in to From the Window Seat, a short travel information packed video. I'm Diane Manson from Mountain City Travel, and here with me today, joining me is a special guest, account executive for Western Canada for Kensington Tours, Isabella Borowick. Welcome, Isabella. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm actually, before we go too far into this, I'm going to actually have you pronounce your last name the way it should be pronounced, please. No problem. So it's actually pronounced Borobiec, which is sort of one of those tongue twister type last names. And I'm getting, I get that question to help people pronounce it all the time. So no worries at all. Thank you. I'm going to go with Isabella for the remainder of our video. How's that? No problem. <laughs> so thanks for joining us today, Isabella. And um, we have some very positive news with borders beginning to open and the uptake, the rapid uptake on vaccines um, around the world and certainly within Canada, which is very welcome news for travelers. And um, you have a special style of travel with Kensington Tours. And, and I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about who Kensington Tours is, please. Definitely, I'd be happy to. Uh, if you've never heard of us before, we are an award-winning luxury tour operator and we essentially offer those tailor-made, one-of-a-kind, private guided experiences to over 140 countries across six different continents. So, you know, we really do combine that passion, you know, the talent behind the scenes and the leading technology that we do have to really stand out um, in the marketplace. Um, as a top supplier for really creating and crafting those incredible curated private guided journeys. So our tours for you will include everything you would possibly need to enjoy your trip of a lifetime. So this is everything from the incredible hotels to the private guides to the airport transfers, your transport between the cities and all of those special experiences that you would expect to have when traveling. So, you know, the really great thing about private guided and a lot of people ask me the, the differentiation or that comparison between them is that private guided will really offer you that in-depth access to the destination that you are traveling to. Um, you know, that in-depth access that you may not necessarily find when you're traveling in a small group on one of those big bus tours, or even if you're on a self-guided tour that you've sort of put together, you know, on your own. So we really can design that experience to be the absolute best fit for whatever it is that you are looking for. And we may even um, be able to you know, provide some of those experiences that you de didn't necessarily think were possible. So some of those sort of surprise and delights once you reach that destination that you're going to. Um, our brand promise at Kensington Tours really is to create that experience that will change your life. And, and I will share share with everyone that we have um, a number of clients with Mountain City Travel who have um, who have done private guided, as you said, specifically curated just for them for their their specific um, dreams and wishes and interests. And um, they keep coming back to Kensington. I think that's a pretty good sign. I think so too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so why why if someone was was embarking on um, getting their travels organized for the next while and people are doing that so um, what what would you say um, why I guess the word is why would would someone choose Kensington tours yeah you know I think there's so many incredible wonderful reasons as to why to choose Kensington tours for your next you know private guided journey um, and there's really a lot of things that help sort of have, have us stand apart in the marketplace. But there's four real pillars that, you know, we really pride ourselves on. And I think that really drive our success. So the first of those pillars is our personalized journeys. So the itineraries that we create are designed specifically and uniquely for the client or for the traveler. You know, so whether you're a family that's traveling, I actually just recently had someone reach out to me asking questions. It was a grandmother who wanted to take her grandchildren to see the polar bears in Winston um, Churchill up in northern Manitoba, which was really exciting. Um, whether, you know, you're a honeymooner who's looking to relax a little bit after planning that hectic wedding that you may have um, with something maybe from our resort collection. So, you know, off the beaten path a little bit, not necessarily going to your typical all-inclusive, 
being able to really travel to that that beach destination, um, being able to stay in an incredible hotel there and get off the bean path with a local guide, um, or you're an adventure traveler. So whether you're somebody who really enjoys hiking, like both Diane and I do, um, and you're looking to sort of do that somewhere around the world. So whether it's Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, or if you're you know really looking to take that to the next level with Everest, um, we can truly curate that experience and make that experience however you would like it from beginning to end. So when you travel on that personalized journey with us, you really explore the destination on your own terms. Um, you know, which is really great feature, I think now, especially getting back into travel during and after COVID time. So we can really tailor that experience to be whatever it is that you're comfortable with. So if you're looking to sort of, you know, get back into travel a little bit, but you're nervous about being with all the crowds and everything like that, we can actually tailor that in your guide and destination. We'll be able to sort of take you through the back door entrances. We'll be able to sort of show you things that aren't typical, but still really wonderful to that specific destination that you're traveling to. And what's really great about this too, is that it offers that freedom of flexibility. So like I had mentioned, we can really adjust your plans on the fly at your own pace. We really believe that this is your own experience and we will tailor and curate it however will make you happy, happy, happiest. Um, we also offer that expert planning sort of behind the scenes. So this is really important to who Kensington Tours really is. So like I said, behind the scenes, we have our destination experts and they're the ones who are really creating these incredible itineraries for you. They're the experts who are able to um, basically know the ins and outs of each of the destinations that you travel to. So they've either lived there, they're from there, they travel back there on a regular basis, basis to really vet the hotels, the experiences, speak to the local guides to make sure they're, the, they're up to the standards that we expect them to be. Um, and then once you have those itineraries created, our local guides will take care of everything in destination. So I truly believe if you've ever done a tour in the past, you really know how these guides can make or break your experience. So all of our guides are local. They're all experts in their field. And when we're creating these itineraries for you, we really wanna to get to know you as the traveler and as the client. So whether you're a wine expert um, and you wanna to travel to Italy or Spain, your guide will actually be an expert sommelier who will be able to take you through these vineyards, vineyards and give you that sort of added experience. We have professional athletes that are our guides. Um, we also have certified Egyptologists in Egypt as an example. So they're historians, they're true professionals and experts in their field to make sure that when you arrive in destination, not only are you able to take in the beautiful sites, but you have someone there who's gonna be able to parallel and create that amazing off the bean path experience for you. And, and I love that super intimate insider info, if you will. I mean, it's the, the little bakery on the corner. And not only is it the little bakery, it's what you must have at the little bakery. There's just um, so much attention to detail. And um, it doesn't mean one is attached at the hip all of the time, but it's, it's um, the guides and the roadmaps. Um, uh, um, I say that figuratively roadmaps, but um, it, the experiences truly are are incredible and brilliant. Yes. They yes. truly are. And yes. the really incredible thing about that too, like you had touched on is that, you know, we curate this experience to the client. So that guide in destination will find out and get to know the client um, as they're sort of going along and be able to pick those, you know, never before seen or not open to the public type spots to be able to take their clients to. And the really incredible thing about that too, like we keep mentioning, is that this, this experience or this tour really is your experience. And our guide doesn't necessarily have to be attached at the hip every single day. If you'd like that private guide with you, maybe three or four days out of your seven day tour, we can make that happen. If you'd like your guide there every single day, all day, we can make that happen as well. So it really is up to your comfort level and however you'd like to curate the experience for yourself. I'm just gonna add one other little thing that um, I know some of our clients have really enjoyed and that is um, people like to have that super, super local one-on-one -on -one experience with, with, you know, not seeing a country from afar, but but being in families' homes and having conversations with, say, artisans, um, you know, um, 
farmers, people who their everyday life. And, and that's another thing that I love that Kensington um, can, can put together for people is those absolute intimate, um, authentic local experiences. Definitely. It's definitely one of my absolute favorite things when I'm traveling to a destination, just to really be able to get to know the local, um, the local people, the local culture, just a little bit more intimately. Yes. So um, maybe you can share with us where it is in the world that Kensington um, can take you. Yes. So earlier I had mentioned that we visit over 140 countries on six different continents. Um, and these regions include Asia, Africa, and Africa is actually where Kensington tours um, sort of started out, uh, you know, not too long ago. And that's where we have our deepest roots in terms of destination. We actually offer more experiences and more countries to visit than a lot of the other touring suppliers out there as well. Um, so if you're interested in Africa, definitely a great spot to start is with us. Um, we also travel to Egypt in the Middle East, Australia in the Pacific, Latin America, and Europe. And if you're interested, we have also sent someone up to space, which I know is a little bit of an unconventional travel <laughs> experience, but it is something that we can do if that's something that you're looking at. Um, but then along with our, sorry? Oh, I was just going to say, that's called expanding your horizons. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> Um, and then along with these destinations that we go to, we all also offer some incredible product lines. So like I had mentioned with the honeymooners earlier, we do have our resort collection. So that's really sort of, you know, getting off the bean path out of that typical all inclusive type experiences. I'm really focusing on some of those more luxury five star boutique hotels and some of those, you know, Caribbean, Mexico, South Pacific, Indian Ocean destinations that you might travel to. And that's always paired up with our white glove service as well and our local guides. Um, we also do have a yachts collection. So um, if you're looking to charter a yacht out um, for, you know, whatever amount of time you'd like, we do have access to 1500 vessels around the world. And that sort of ranges anywhere from those motor sailing yachts to catamarans um, you know we really can accompany anywhere between four and 16 people so no matter what the size of your party is um, we definitely have something available for them we also have our national parks collection and our north america collection with which we launched in the fall of 2019 um, so those national parks range anywhere throughout the united states and through canada as well um, and we just most recently paired up with ancestry.com so this is something that you know i'm very excited about and i know we have a lot of buzz circulating that so that's um, pairing up basically to create personal heritage journeys for you so what we will do is we have a, a certified pro genealogist who we work with that will take your history, basically do all the research in the back end, pass that off to one of our destination experts who will then curate the perfect private guided experience to pair up with whatever your history might be. So it, it's, it's interesting because we've had quite a few clients actually learn some things about their heritage that they had no idea about. And then be, to be able to go to that specific destination and see the history you know, of their ancestors and their people and their culture, um, you know, we've had absolutely incredible feedback with that. So um, that's very exciting. And then coming this summer, so you are actually the first to hear about this. I got the go ahead this morning. Um, we haven't even put it on the website or anything like that, is we are introducing our new cruising product. So we will be starting with Antarctica. Um, so that's a brand new destination. Um, so starting our cruising product in Antarctica, as well as the Arctic and our expedition expedition sailing in Alaska. So that's private sailing through Alaska. So if you're somebody who, you know, has had that ambition to want to cruise sort of with that uncertainty with the cruising industry, especially this coming summer, that might be a really great option for you to look at. Um, and then we're also introducing self drives that's coming up as well. So that will be announced later on this summer um, and launching later this fall, um, which is very exciting. But a whole new product line that we're adding to Kensington Tours. And like I mentioned, you are the first to hear it because I just got the go ahead this morning. So very exciting stuff. Really exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. I'm interested to uh, to learn a lot more, obviously. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. great. Yeah. Now, um, I understand that you have a couple of very special guests that you have um, that you have invited to join us today. Um, one of which I've 
worked with and met and um, is delightful. And I'm sure they both are delightful. So I'm going to let you do some introductions. And um, I think we're going to um, we're going to do some country visitation, shall we call it? Yes, excellent. So we do have Chantel, who is one of our destination experts in both Spain and Portugal, and Evan, who is one of our destination experts for Eastern Africa, so both Kenya and Tanzania. Um, and they just wanted to hop on really quickly and just give everybody a really quick overview of these amazing destinations that are that we're finding are becoming a little bit more of those hot spots for when the borders really open up and people can begin traveling again. My name is Evan Triple. I'm a sales lead here at Kensington Tours for the Africa Department, and I've been working here for five years, specifically dealing with everything that is sub-Saharan Africa. Um, a lot of people say, why go to Africa over anywhere else? Uh, there's, to me, a lot of reasons. Um, it's got adventure, it's got uh, the cultural aspect to it, uh, stunning, stunning landscapes, and uh, all of those obviously famous wild animals that we all keep seeing on National Geographic and uh, BBC Planet Earth. Uh, in my opinion, what's, what's not to love about this place? Uh, there are a lot of, I'd say, myths that have been cultivated over the last several decades, like Africa isn't a safe place to travel, it's underdeveloped, conflict-ridden. Um, there are certain areas, certainly, that are risk-prone. Um, however, over the last 15 to 20 years, we've been seeing a lot of investment coming into the continent and a burgeoning young population that is uh, both driving change and also bringing a competitive Africa um, forward into the 21st century. Uh, things are not quite the same as what they were in the 90s and the 1980s. Uh, everything has really, really changed on this continent and uh, for the most part for the better. The one big question is, where do I go in Africa? Because there's there's 54 or 55 different countries, depending on who you ask. Uh, and each region is is very, very different. There's a misconception that we lump Africa as, as one big, giant country in a way. And, and that's, there's nothing that's farther from the truth. It's one of the most diverse continents, if not the most diverse continent in the entire world in terms of culture. Um, for your first time goers to Africa, I would more recommend focusing on Southern Africa or East Africa. Uh, West Africa can be a little bit um, different relative to what we would typically associate with an African experience in the sense that there's a very limited safari. Most people want to go for safari. Um, Southern, and Afri Southern Africa and East Africa both offer that. For Southern Africa, I would put people in the Cape Kruger Vic Falls itinerary. The reason for that being is it has a nice showcase of what the what this region really has to offer. Uh, Cape Town, again, amazing city to explore. Kruger has a burgeoning population of, of rhinos and particularly leopards as well, something that the rest of the continent doesn't really offer. Uh, Victoria Falls is one of the seven natural wonders of the world and is a must-see, uh, in my opinion, uh, and has some excellent safari in that area too, which can easily be added on as a three to four day um, extension. East Africa, the 10-day Kenya and Tanzania game tracker, is an excellent way to focus on all of the major parks that this region really provides. The Serengeti, the Masai Mara, and Gorongoro Crater are those three highlights, and there are other parks that are included in that as well. Each park has a different blend of animals uh, that... that hmm. Each park has its own specialities in terms of what is going on in that region at that time of year. And I recommend just speaking to a destination expert here at Kensington Tours to understand exactly what time of year is the best time to go for each respective national park. Uh, once again, the emphasis on East Africa is the uh, safari. Uh, the animals are all over the place, very, very easy to find. Um, so if you're really just looking for a safari only experience, this is where I would put you. Hello, my name is Chantel. I'm one of the destination experts here at Kensington Tours. I specialize in Spain and Portugal and I want to chat with you today about two of my favorite itineraries that we offer in some more unique or off the beaten track areas in Spain and Portugal. The first itinerary 
features the Basque Coast as well as Barcelona and Madrid. This itinerary runs about 12 days at around 10,000 per person. That being said, every one of our trips, every one of our itineraries are custom built for our travelers. So this itinerary can be done over a longer or shorter amount of time. And by changing the sightseeing, the accommodations, the length and duration, or the seasonality of travel, that starting from price is really quite adjustable. Now, this trip begins in sunny Barcelona. Uh, it takes in the fa fabulous Gaudi sites as well as the culinary sites of the Bucaria market. You have an opportunity to get up close and personal with the cuisine and the architecture that makes this area fantastic as well as have some downtime to take in the sea and the sand. From here we travel up north to San Sebastian and the uh, Basque Coast in Bilbao. This allows you to explore the magnificent architecture of the Guggenheim itself, to go and explore the northern coast with its unique culture, cuisine, and language, the Basque language. Uh, it also allows you to take in the wonderful Michelin star options in this area. There's more in this area of Spain than all of France combined. So there's more stars to be had and better plates to enjoy. Along with the higher end experiences on the Michelin star side, there's also the local delicacies, the pinchos culture of a small tapa style food as well as getting into the vineyards and the wine of the region, taking in the wonderful bouquets of the Rioja Valley uh, and being able to sip and sample your way through this unique coastline before your clients head off back to Madrid. And in this area, you have the opportunity to do things that are a little bit more unique. So rather than just doing uh, a flamenco show, it's a flamenco show that we offer that also has a 12 course dining option. So as you're experiencing the food and experiencing the culture, you're going through a full sensory experience. Uh, this trip is one of my favorites because it does get into areas that are often overlooked like the North Coast and because it shows how different each of these major cities are just in terms of climate, language, culture, art, but it's a really immersive experience and one that certainly titillates the taste buds. So this trip, along with the stay in Barcelona, you're doing the markets there, you're visiting the vineyards on the north coast, you're trying the tapas culture in each of the cities from, you know, the pinchos and the flamenco of um, northern Spain, and you have an opportunity to stay in some luxury five-star properties. The next itinerary I like to share is one of my personal favorites uh, because I am part Portuguese. My family comes from the Azores, so this is an area that's near and dear to my heart. This itinerary starts around nine days and the starting from point is much more cost effective. This is around $2,375 per person. It's a wonderful area that's often overlooked because it's not on mainland Portugal, it's out in the islands. It's as far away from uh, mainland Portugal as you can get being smack dab in the center of the Atlantic. Now this trip itself takes in three of the major islands from Ponte Delgada, Payal and Tresera, as well as an opportunity to go to Pico for a day trip, Pico being famous for its mountain uh, or rather it's volcano. Now this area I like to describe is a bit like Hawaii or uh, Iceland being a volcanic archipelago and so the views and the vistas in this region are so different and so varying from each island. Being that they are volcanic islands you have that really lush wonderful green uh, nature of each of the islands because it is so incredibly fertile and the wine from this region is outstanding as well it's one of the few places in Europe where you'll be able to experience a tea plantation where they grow tea on the islands itself. The islands are very very remote very um, protected and so you get to see some of the most remarkable uh, landscapes, colorful flowers, exotic birds, whales, 
uh, whale watching and dolphin watching in this area is wonderful. As well, you have the fascinating culture. So going to places like Pornas, where they actually uh, make their local cuisine by uh, submerging pots into the hot volcanic water and steaming and cooking the meals there. But these are islands that I would certainly recommend, especially if you're looking for somewhere off the beaten path, incredibly cost effective and just outstandingly beautiful. It's an area of the world that I recommend for anyone who enjoyed Hawaii, enjoyed Galapagos, enjoyed Iceland. These are the places to go. So I would certainly recommend putting the Azores on your bucket list for your next trip. And just wanted to make one note of how far out they are. So you can actually get to the Azores from mainland North America from either Boston, New York or Toronto in about four to five hours. So it's incredibly um, easy to reach the islands themselves. And why travel with Kensington Tours? I just wanted to point out a couple of the reasons why we are head and above the choice for your clients. We personalize every one of our journeys. So each and every one of our trips are customized for our travelers, for their budget, their sightseeing goals, uh, as well as their bucket list trips in mind. Each one of our destination experts is extremely well versed in the destination, having either lived, worked, or traveled the region extensively. Our local on-site team are wonderful guides. They are experts in what they do. They have made trips just outstanding for our clients when they're on the ground. And then our unbeatable 24 seven support. While you are traveling, you know that you have that peace of mind. There's someone available to help you at any time. Well, that's it for me here at Kensington Tours. I hope you have a wonderful trip and that we all get on the road very soon. Thank you, Chantal and Evan. It's always fun to um, do a little virtual travel, Spain and Portugal and Africa. Very exciting, exciting destinations. And um, I, I'm wondering, Isabella, if you could share with us, um, with Kensington, what the travel protocol is um, for sort of coming into traveling over this next six to 12 months and and Kensington's role with, with their um, their protocols around that, please. Definitely. So we definitely put a few different things in place um, just to really, you know, ease the minds of our travelers for travel before and for travel during and after as well. So the, the first thing that we've put in place is actually a very flexible booking condition. Um, so with that, we have a risk-free booking guarantee. So basically outside of the normal terms and conditions, we can cancel your trip up to seven days prior to departure for a hundred percent future travel voucher with us. And the really great thing about that is, is that you don't necessarily have to recreate the same trip that you were supposed to go on. We can change the destination for you and you can use that travel voucher to travel on an entirely new itinerary anywhere in the world. The second thing that we put in place is our PCR testing. So what's really great about that is you don't have to worry about scheduling that PCR test in destination for coming back home. So we will take care of all of the arrangements, all of the booking, all of the testing for you. And if you're traveling to a multi-country, and if that second country that you're traveling to requires a negative PCR test, we will arrange that for you in that first country that you're in as well. So we just want to ease your mind, have you not have to worry at all about needing to find that testing or anything like that. We will take care of all of it for you. And last but not least, uh, the World Travel and Tourism Council has just given us the Safe Travel Stamp of Approval, which is basically a globally recognized distinction for our implementation of health and hygiene standards. Um, and these, these health, and health, health and hygiene standards are basically centralized and aligned with all of the WTTC's safe travel protocols. So basically what this means is in destination, our guides and our drivers and all of our local representation will be doing daily temperature checks. They will always be masked and gloved up and there will always be hand sanitizer available, not to just to them, but also to all of our travelers. And we also wanna make sure that all of our vehicles and all of the hotels that we're using in destination as well have proper and are aligned with our hygiene protocols and they're properly sanitized upon arrival. 
Um, and then also along with that is our flexibility terms as well. So our 24 seven support basically means that once you arrive in destination, if something's you know, happening or if you know, any conditions have changed in the destination that you're traveling to, we really allow that flexibility to have that change in itinerary for you on the fly. So same day, if in the morning you wake up and something has happened, we can make those changes for you. Absolutely no problem. It's, it's a no worry, no stress. It's cross all of those things off your list, right? Exactly. We want to make it as absolutely easy as possible because we know that people have been waiting very long to travel to these, you know, bucket list destinations that they've had on their list their entire lives. Um, and even though current, the current situation is there's still sort of that uncertainty about traveling, but when you're ready, um, we want to make sure that you have that peace of mind and that ease of flexibility when you arrive in destination or when you book your trip with us, um, that you have absolutely nothing to worry about. And, and I do believe over this last 14 months, there's been a lot of dreaming going on and that dreaming is still, is still going on. And the, and planning now though is 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 beginning um, you know pun intended beginning to take off, and so maybe you can share with us a, a little bit about you know where do we all get started when it's time to look at a Kensington or start imagining that itinerary. Yes, definitely. So I think the first step is definitely reaching out to Diane. Um, she will basically be able to ask the right questions in terms of the different destinations, the different experiences and that sort of thing that you're looking to have. Um, and then once you're ready, she'll reach out to one of our destination experts to really be able to craft that perfect tailor made itinerary for you. And like Diane had mentioned, you know, now's that time to really start dreaming. We can see that light at the end of the tunnel, I think with the vaccine rollouts and everything like that. Um, so we really you know, encourage you, if you have those dreams and those countries and those bucket list trips that you're looking at, there's absolutely no harm in reaching out to Diane to have her start creating that itinerary for you. Um, you know, for travel, if you're looking to go next month, you know, before the end of this year or even next year, um, I guarantee that as soon as you have that itinerary crafted and in your hands, that excitement will start to build and, you know, you'll feel a little bit more optimistic about being able to travel sooner than later as well. I, I, I will share with you that, um, well, I'll share with everyone, actually, we, we do have some people who have their Kensington tour, their private um, curated specifically for them trip for 2022. And, and I think there is something really special about having that almost that secret something tucked into your hip pocket and uh, there's nothing like something like that I think to get us through this time while we continue to wait patiently so I do invite I do invite anyone who might be curious about Kensington tours to please give me a call um, you've got the number you've got the email and um, and I look forward to to hearing getting your call and um speaking with the destination experts at Kensington and coming up with something very specific and very special and, and just for you. Thank you for joining me today, Isabella. And also thank you to your team for joining, joining us today. And um, here's to um, staying hopeful, staying safe and being very positive. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. And yes, we'll stay positive and We'll get on that plane sooner than later. We will. <laughs> Take good care. Have a good day. You too.